Euro 2024 is exactly 24 hours away. So there is no better time to complete my Euro 2024 predictions. But before we get into anything, welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. If you are new around here, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of what you think of the video. We're going to set a like target of 150 likes on this video and we are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So go and smash that subscribe button right now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Group A consists of Germany, Hungary, Scotland and Switzerland. Um, Germany clear favourites to go through. It's, their play is playing at Germany, like the whole tournament's in Germany. They've got the attacking midfield of Wurz, Musiala and Kai Havertz and yeah, beh behind them's Kimmich and Gretzka. Safe to say they're going to top the group. But then it comes down to who is going to finish second. I think think that Switzerland coming second and Scotland third. Sorry Hungary, you're going home. Scotland, yeah, they've got a bit about them. They've, they, they'll surprise people. Won't do anything massive, but they'll surprise people. Switzerland, they've got um, Sommer in goal. Absolute world-class keeper, as we saw in the World Cup and the Euros before. Um, yeah, happy with that group as the way it is. Um, group B. Now, this is an interesting one. From, from worst to best, Albania, you're fourth. Sorry, Croatia third. Spain have got to be top with Lemagna Mao, players like that coming through. You know, it's just self explanatory why they're going to come through. Italy, ooh, actually, now I'm going to stick with it. Italy second, Croatia third. Italy, pff, don't think they're standing a chance this year. Um, Group C, the team that my country, England, are in. Um, fourth, Slovenia, Serbia third. I think England top. Can't really argue with that. I mean, the game's going into it. You can see why you'd argue with that with the performances we've had in these friendlies going into it. But got to say, it's got to be England, isn't it? Fo a midfield of Rice, Foden, Bellingham, um, Palmer, Saka. You can put Mainu in somewhere there. Trent can play in midfield. Gordon, Bowen. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's over in that group in the group stages anyway. Um, group D consists of France. That's what I put them there. We all know France, Netherlands, Austria, Poland. Happy, with, I'm happy with that. Poland. I saw something about injury with. Um, Lewandowski, don't know if he's gone home or he's just missing a few games. I'm not too sure, but either way, he's down there. I know Matty Cash switched his nationality from English to Polish, which, you know, it's it's questionable, but if it's what he wants to do. Austria, they've got Alaba, players like that, so they'll I reckon they'll finish third. Group E. Belgium. Romania, Slovakia, Ukraine. That's a poor group, that. I cannot lie, that is a poor, poor group. Um, Belgium top. They've got an aging squad, but it's still likely to perform. Um, Romania. I've got to go. Ukraine second. I think Romania. Romania third. Going into the last group, Czech Republic, Georgia, Portugal and Turkey. Rock bottom, for me, Georgia. Czech Republic second. And Portugal to go through. If I go to next. So you've got your lucky group lucky losers. So basically I think is it th four of the 
six third places in the group stages might be three well it's four yeah it's four um the four best out of the six group stages move on to the round of 16 um so who goes through is the question croatia definitely i think yeah serbia and austria romania and turkey sorry you're going home now on to the round of 16 where it gets interesting. Spain, Scotland. It's got to be Spain, like I've said, Le Mans, Mal. You've still got quality players in there. They're going to do well. Morata's good. For all round, they're a good squad. Scotland, you're going to you're gonna have a good go. I'm not saying you're, full, you're just crumbled. You're going to have a good, good go. But for sure. Germany, Denmark. Germany, I think, go through using the home advantage. They've got everything going for them. Denmark, uh, and another team won't won't uh, roll over, won't give up easily, but they're going home. Portugal, Serbia. It's got to be Portugal. Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes, João Cancelo, Ruben Diaz. The list goes on, and uh, there's Ralph Liao, Rafael Liao, many I'm not even naming. Netherlands go through. Network between Netherlands and Ukraine. Can't really see Netherlands. I can't really see Ukraine putting up a good fight against the Netherlands. It's Netherlands at the end of the day, they know what they're doing. Belgium, Croatia. Two aging squads here. Modric, don't even know if he's going. Um, Still Perisic, don't know if he's going. If not, to be fair, I don't even know if they'll get out of the group stages with the, the rest of their players. Uh, Belgium, got to go through. Don't know who's going out of Lukaku. Um, Courtois, uh, no, I saw Courtois not going. Hazard, guess not, he's retired. De, De Bruyne's got to be going if he's not retired already. So, for me, Belgium go through. France, Czech Republic. Do I need to even go into detail? The team they've got, yeah. France in it. England, Austria, same same as the last one, it's England. Austria, definitely better than Czech Republic, so it'll be harder. And we're, and yeah, it's definitely be harder than France's game, but we're still gonna win that. Um, Switzerland, Italy. Probably Italy. They're going to use. They've just won the Euro 2020. Um, sure, they'll put up a decent fight. I had a look through their squad. They've got Dima, uh, Demarco. They've got so, no one who's like. Whoa, they're good. I don't know if Barella's going or people like that, but no one springs out to me as. Yeah, they're a player to watch out for. Switzerland got a few good players, but not enough to push through. Quarterfinals, now where it gets really interesting. Spain, Germany. Who goes through? Now this is an interesting one. They're all going to be interesting from here, I suspect. Spain, Germany. Germany to use their home advantage and progress through. As good as Spain are, everyone, you, not everyone can win. So Spain are going home in the quarterfinals. Portugal, Netherlands. Now, Portugal have got the stronger team, but Netherlands will always, always surprise people. But I'm sticking with Portugal. Belgium, France. Belgium, yeah, they're not the, they're not what they used to be. They're all an aging squad. France are just France. England, Italy time for England to get revenge from the Euro 2020 and prove why England are the better team. Semi-finals. Portugal, Germany. I feel like Portugal uh, got the good, good squad with some immense players. But I 
until like Germany are gonna snatch it. Like once again, it's in Germany. Like it's home advantage is massive in these tournaments. France, England. The one everyone talking about is it what happened in the World Cup. In my opinion, when England played France, England were the better team. They were unlucky to fall short. Um, they missed a penalty, and the, yeah, the game went against uh, England. Um, don't get me wrong, France are an unbelievable side. Mbappe, Coman, Griezmann, Diaby, uh, Rabiot, Tushimeni, Kamavinga, Saliba, Tio Hernandez. The list goes on. My nan in goal. Um, who else? Coman, I said him. Colomuane. The list just goes on. Kante's been called up again. It's nice to see him back in the squad. But I've got to stick with England. Come on, England. Um, yeah, England, Foden, Kane, Saka, Palmer, Bellingham, Rice, Mainu. Trent, Bowen, Gordon, Trent, I've already said Trent, uh, Stones, Pickford, the list goes on, Kyle Walker, Jordan Trippier, the centre-backs other than Stones, we don't talk about them, because the forwards are who score the goals, and we're gonna come, it's going to come home, it's coming home, England, Germany, will, it, will England fall short against Germany, the team that's um, hosting the tournament I don't think so I think England going to absolutely shock the world after the friendlies going into it and everyone's saying England got no chance blah 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 the favourites although not fan favourites but the favourite the bookies favourite England to win it come on England thank you for watching um be sure to like and subscribe and stay around for future videos. We're going to try and post weekly now that the season's over. If you would like to check out my usual content, check out the channel. Uh, we've got videos from the range from match day vlogs to edits, just a range of everything. There'll be FIFA content coming. Just let me know what you want. I'll try and make it happen. Um, yeah, just like and subscribe the like target like i said was 150 likes and um subscribe to the channel we're aiming for 2000 subscribers by the end of the year that would be massive and as we go into this new season i've got massive massive things planned with my team coventry city come on come on city and yes ladies and gentlemen one last time 